Hey everyone, welcome back to Mini Bike Mike's Garage. So, one of the most common comments or questions that I get is, we'd like to see you build something custom, something with a big engine, 190 or 212cc or whatever, and I've kind of resisted it. Uh, actually, I went through that phase of this hobby 10 years ago, 2020. 12, 2015, through 2015 or so, and I built a few custom bikes, uh, chopped up a, a CT70 and put an SL70 tank on it, made a little cafe racer and stuff, and kind of got a lot of my inspiration. Uh, I found a guy by the name of David Morales. I believe he's down in Texas someplace. If you go to Instagram, I know his Instagram is Dave Mo Moto, D A V M O. M-O-T-O, -O, Dave Momoto, and he, I mean, he still does it. He, he builds a lot of, you know, interesting, interesting bikes and uh, all kind of mini-based. He does do some Triumph stuff, too, so if you're into Triumphs, you go check him out. But uh, anyway, so I kind of went through that phase and did that thing and, and uh, have kind of passed that now, but you guys keep asking. I'm not going to say that the next project is going to be a custom build with a big engine, but I'm going to show you what we're going to what we're going to start with. So, a lot of you guys probably know a fellow down in Texas by the name of Terry Burley. He's on a lot of the Facebook pages and so forth. And I don't know how long ago it was, maybe a year ago, Terry contacted me. He said, "Hey Mike, he said, there is a uh, CT70H frame on eBay for 99 cents. He said, uh, I think you ought to buy it and build something out of it. And so he sent me a link, and I look it up, and it is this twisted piece of crap. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it, is, it, it was just rough. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, what, what in the world am I going to do with that? Well, I bought it. And that had to have been over a year ago. And after I got it, I played with it for a while. And it was super bent. It had a bow in it. I, I don't have the video I shot of when I first started messing with this thing, when I first got it. It was on an old, I do everything on an iPhone. I've said that before. And I got, I lost phone had to get a new phone, lost video, because I at the time I wasn't using the cloud, and so I lost the video. Uh, but I spent a little bit of time shortly after I got this and worked on trying to straighten it out, and it's it's a heck of a lot straighter than what it is, even though it's bent as it is. And you can see that the, the head tube is still, like, tilted from the rest. It's, it's not in a straight line. Um, but it was even worse. And I played with this thing for a while and, and so forth, but it's just, I'm, I'm telling you, looking at my screen now as I film, doesn't do it justice, uh, just, just how bad this thing really is. So I put it away, and so I haven't messed with it for quite a few months, and I thought, you know what, what the heck, let's pull it back out. So I can't ruin it, can't, can't hurt it any more than what it's already hurt, uh, but I'm thinking it would make a cool little rat rod type bike. And I'm kind of envisioning throwing some long front forks on it and uh, lowering it in the back. Kind of make a, you know, little, little chopper type of thing out of it. But today's video is, I, I want to take it apart. I've never taken one of these frames apart. And I mean, take it into two halves and take out the, the the back part here and the bottom part where that line is right there. I want to drill out all the rivets, take off this lower frame, and I want to see if I can straighten it because I, I don't think I can straighten it any better than what it is with it together. I really need to cut it apart and be able to hammer it out and then we'll weld it back together. So. Um, so that's what today's video is going to be. I've never taken one of these apart, so I don't know what kind of challenge that's going to present, but I'm probably just going to put you guys on time lapse and you're going to watch me drill out 
all these little spot welds and try and separate those two pieces of frame. Up here at the front, at the neck, I'm not going to try and unwrap all this from the neck. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cut across here, come down, come back across. Let's see, let me lay it down. Because you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, this gusset sticks farther to the back of the frame than this one does. So I think I want to come down, come across, and then come back down again and cut it around, do the same thing on the other side. So it's got a little step in there. So when I weld it back together, I'm just not got was one seam. I've actually kind of, you know, hopefully maybe give it a little bit of support, but uh, I want to take and be able to beat out some of these dents and, and so forth. And just more than anything, I've, I've never taken one apart. So like I said, we'll have to drill out all these little places where it's spot welded. So. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I, like I said, it's it just a fun video, something different to do, and I've never taken one apart. It may just become a wall hanger. We'll see. My original intent was to not drill these all the way out, just to drill them just through that top layer. But then I got drilling and I thought, man, wouldn't that look cool if we're gonna do a rat rod to have that bolted and have that just as a row of bolts, bolting that all back together. So that's why I started drilling them all out. I just, I don't know, that may just be, be an interesting look to it or it may look like crap, I don't know. <laughs> Well, this is the aftermath of taking one of these apart. That was actually kind of fun, really. A lot of drilling out of spot welds, you know, to get these pieces all loose. That's the cradle that hangs off the bottom that actually holds the engine. So everything is going to need a lot of straightening. You know, and then uh, I think it's going to look kind of cool having it bolted back together. We'll weld, you know, have some spots where we're going to have to weld. Uh, where I cut this bar across the middle here, we'll sleeve it with another tube, weld all that back up, get it all good and solid. Like I said, I wanted to leave this all as a unit. This piece is pretty rusty, but 
you know what? We're going to make it work. All those other little brackets that come out of it. Kind of fun. So I'm going to try and hammer this out just a little bit, straighten it out a little bit more, get some of the dents and stuff out of it. I'm not going to try and make it look perfect, but uh, this will make it a whole lot easier for, you know, trying to straighten it up and, and so forth and try and make something useful out of it. And if not, we'll, we'll cut that piece apart and weld it on there and just make some wall hangers. But I don't know. I think I'll stop right there for today. It's about ready time to go home. So <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. I know it's kind of fast forward. I'll try and slow it down a little bit uh, so that you can see some of it because I, I just watched what I time lapsed and it actually goes so fast you can't really see much. But uh, all I was doing was just drilling out a bunch of spot welds. So anyway, guys, thanks for following along. Wish me luck. Uh, we'll see what we can make out of this, if we can make anything at all. So, but it was fun. It's something different for the for the channel. Hope you enjoy it. See ya.